Uh, you know, we are just two days now away from the Super Bowl, and we've told you the footballs are made in the state. That's not all, though. Yeah, many of the players will be strapping on helmets made by a company here in Ohio. And this new swap original Meg Shaw gives us an inside look as a part of her Buckeye Built series. Yeah, good morning, guys. Yeah, the game of football has changed over and over again. Reports, studies, and testing have become the norm to make it safer. And Riddell says that's all they want. They want players to come off the field as safe as they can. The hits are harder and stronger. The players bigger and faster than ever before. And the piece of equipment on the field most important is the helmet. It's important to make sure that the equipment we're bringing to the football field is addressing those evolving needs of the athlete. That's where Riddell comes in. The company has been the official helmet of the NFL, colleges and hundreds of high school teams across the country. The process starts with a raw shell. Assembled by hand right here in Northeast Ohio. He's going to insert the, the crown pad there. You need uh, a set of hands and a set of eyes almost on every single helmet to ensure that one, that it's built properly and that it meets customer specifications. But it's no secret. Helmets and player safety have been under fire for the last decade, with Riddell caught in the middle. There's a lot of good work being done at Riddell as well as through our partners that are helping us improve football helmet technology. Aaron Griffin, the vice president of Riddell's marketing, says now more than ever, their company is utilizing data. Looking at the impact to a player's head, working to limit injuries. So we make features in our protective systems and our helmets that address the type of impacts players see on field, all informed by data that we collect from the field as well as the laboratory. Like their flex Where system. This, this piece here will flex on impact and absorb energy. At the end of the day, Griffin says it's about being safe. There is a considerable amount of technology and innovation and emphasis being placed on improving it. And so helping uh, get the word out, I think, is the biggest hurdle. All right, so that flex technology that you saw there in the video where they press the helmet in the, in the front, that rolled out a few years ago. Well, now their new helmet is considered one of the safest on the market, and this is a look at it. This is their 3D diamond technology. I'm going to zoom in to this helmet here. This is a 3D look at the helmet. You see how it's kind of holy here? These are called lattices, and they say by using this 3D technology inside the helmet for these liners, they're actually able to tune um, these lattice structures and manage the amount of impact around a player's head uh, for different players in different positions. That is really important. So you're actually going to see a lot of these helmets on the field on Sunday for the big Super Bowl game. Katie. Meg Shaw truly giving us an insane <laughs> look.